Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. Uh, and this kind of sequence of a few episodes I'm doing right now uh, is going to be is based on the toolbar. By default, your, your your default tool that you use in this toolbar here is the selection tool. Uh, you can choose the selection tool by hitting uh, V. Uh, this episode, I'm going over the razor tool, which is the, the letter C. So you can think of the shortcut uh, to select your razor tool. You can click on it if you want to, or if you do, if you want the hotkey for it, uh, you sit, hit the letter C. Think of it as cut for C, and it selects the razor tool. This is pretty simple the way this operates here. Uh, you can move the razor tool over uh, any op item here in your timeline, and you can just click on it, and it will cut that clip. Then I can hit my V for selection tool, select that, and hit delete if I'm trying to get rid of that. Let me undo that, Control Z, Control Z. One thing you gotta notice is if your snap tool is on. If your snap tool is not on, then when you try to cut it, you're just kind of eyeballing it and you're not sure exactly what frame you're getting it on. If you wanna uh, cut this exactly to the playhead, if you if you find an exact frame that you wanna cut on, say we wanna cut like right there, and we want it exactly on that frame, and you move your arrow out here, or you're clicking on it, click on it, and now I zoom up, uh, chances are you're not hitting it exactly. See, that's a couple frames off there, so I'm gonna undo. So I, I zoomed up by hitting plus plus on my time on my uh, keyboard. Uh, let's hit minus 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 to zoom out. I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo. And then, uh, but now I'm gonna turn my magnet on. It's my snap tool. The shortcut for that is the letter S. So hit S, and now that magnet is turned on. Move my um, razor blade down here. Notice what as I get it close to this playhead, it'll suddenly snap to it. And you got the little uh, arrow at the top and the bottom of your uh, of your playhead. Uh, marker there and that shows that your tool is snapping to that frame and it will cut it exactly on that frame now when I now when I hit click on my mouse it cuts it and now I have cut uh, performed a cut on that clip I can hit V for my selection tool select this if I'm getting rid of it delete and there we go now say you are notice that when they cut this it cut both my video and my audio at the same time because these two clips are combined these are this is basically one clip so you want to cut the video or just the audio I'm going to hit C for my razor tool. I'm going to move over this clip here. You've got to uh, make sure it's deselected. Control Shift A to deselect everything. I'm going to hold down my Alt key and click on just the video. And notice as I move my playhead away, it, it, it cut just the video and not the audio. So now if I want to hit V and select my uh, and select my the video that I want to delete, but notice this is this is the one that it kept combined with the audio here. If I select this one, this one's free floating. It's all by itself. But say I want to select just this one, I can just if you want to deselect uh, the audio and just select the video, you can alt cl alt click on the video and it selects just the video and now I can hit delete. And one other item here, if you're trying to cut through multiple clips, if you're working with multiple layers, let's uh, layer these two on top of each other here, and you want to cut through everything here, let's say we your toggle track is turned off for this track right there. Now if you choose your blade, hit C. So we've got these multiple layers here and we bring our blade out and we cl click on just this clip here. It c cuts the clip and it's associated combined audio there. Uh, so we've got to cut just on the, on that clip right there. Say you want to perform a cut through everything. Say we were trying to de delete everything from this point forward and we want to perform a cut through everything. If you hold down shift, it does this little double blade arrow and that means it is going to cut through everything. Now I click and it just cut through everything. I can do my alt tracks forward, hit A, click and delete and it deletes everything from that point forward if you're trying to get rid of a certain amount of uh, footage uh, at a certain time. If you don't want to choose your blade and you got your mouse, uh, you got your playhead over something you want to perform from a cut right there, the shortcut is control K and it will perform a slice for you and that way you don't even have to choose the blade. So, so this tool is a little redundant because you can't actually do it just by doing control K and it cuts through right where your playhead is. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. In the next episode, I'll be covering the slip and slide tools.